Taurus, this is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Guys, thank you so much for clicking on my channel. My name is Michelle. This is Born Without Boundaries Tarot. I do weekly tarot card readings. So if you guys really enjoy this reading, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. I upload 12 readings, one for each zodiac sign every single week. And if this reading doesn't resonate with you, another one could. Try your moon sign reading. Try your rising sign reading. Sometimes they resonate more. But this is primarily your reading. So whatever energies I describe or come out for you, please apply them to the aspects in your life where they apply. Remember, there's always an extended reading. I'll attach the links below and to the end of this video. Um as well as in the description, as well as in the comment section, I'll put it to the comment section. And if you love, love, love Born Without Boundaries Tarot and you want even more, I create, I have another second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation where I create even more content that is astrology focused, but I do general tarot card readings over there as well. And I go live Monday through Friday. So every single weekday. And I hope that you can join me. The energy this week is intense for you, um, and I love it. I love it for a lot of you. Your ruling dignitary is Venus, and it's in a very beautiful position. It's just trans transitioned itself into Aquarius. So if you find yourself loving more people or diversifying or needing to be around friends a lot, that's why. You know, it, and if you find yourself more in the mindset of like, well, I want to take this money, but I want to do good things with it and I want to help people with it. If you find yourself in a more philanthropic mode, it's because your ruling dignitary is now in Aquarius and, and that's the energy of Aquarius that is, is, is really that Venus is really uh, working in right now. If you meet anybody, you're going to be attracted maybe to a friend or friendship is going to lead to a romance a beautiful aspect between Venus and Mars this week. It's saying that harmony is going to be found with your spouse, your romantic partner, or it's a great time for dating because you'll be glowing, you'll be especially attractive, your mojo will be high, and you'll find it easy to get along with people, right? So taking action on any of these, in, in any of these areas of your life, or even financially, raising money for the poor, this would be a great week to do it. As, as a Venus has entered Aquarius and as it gets deeper into Aquarius, you'll find that these themes or you'll start to pay attention to things more that come that, that in terms of like the community or doing good for others or taking care of each other or even just, like I said, spending time with your friends. So I love that energy, but there's a tougher energy that's underlying all of this. And that is in your house, in Taurus. Um, Uranus is there. It's been there. It's going to be there for a while. But um, during this week, after the full moon, it becomes square. It, it, it starts to function in a square to the north and south. So I'm sorry, Venus becomes square to the north and south node. And that's where my concern was. Venus will square. Venus that's in Aquarius will square um, Uranus in Taurus, which will square the moon when it's in Leo, which will square the south node, which is in uh, Scorpio. So we'll have a fixed sign square, you know, grand cross in the sky. So it almost seems like you're dealing with a very stubborn energy that you'll find yourself at an impasse where you will continue to find harmony is or support is from your spouse. So if you're in this very difficult situation where you're resisting change or you're finding people around you are resisting changes in you or changes that you want to make to your life. The happy news is that you will have support from your spouse, that, that there will be that supportive, harmonious energy of somebody in your corner. Um, and, or if, it's, if you don't even have a spouse, there's a sense of you'll still be able to enjoy dating this week. You'll, you'll have a little bit of a distraction um, this week, but there is a bunch of like a squared energy there is there is some tough energy there that just makes you feel maybe stuck when it's a when it's a grand square or a grand cross you know not knowing what to do with things being confusing um this is set up to challenge you and it won't last it'll it'll clear after the end of this week 
but it will kind of point out to you those kind of aspects that you need to get stronger on or you'll see that it's so intense it'll force you to get stronger so let's see um how how that's all playing out the queen of swords we have here which is choosing a new direction um, it could be like the straw that broke the camel's back this week that just says, now I'm ready. I'm ready for a shift. I'm ready for a change. And even choosing your path forward. I all of a sudden heard, I saw, see somebody looking in the distance, looking in a different direction, maybe even looking in some ways um, to, to go somewhere or travel somewhere. It could be counseling. It could be a counselor that you're seeing. But immediately I picked up on just making a choice, making a choice and heading in a new direction. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, or, um, I'm sorry, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. So, cause this is a, this will be a air sign feminine. Um, in some ways it could be somebody who is helping you figure out where you need to go next, especially, this is a surprise to me, when it comes for work, because Virgo energy, this is Virgo, this is the hermit. So it's almost a sense of, in a strange way, realizing I have to go out on my own or I have to maybe leave the comfort zone and do something outside of my comfort zone for the sake of a job. It could be a counselor helping you find work or somebody counseling, okay, what do I do next? What do I start working on or building next? But hermit energy does imply that you may be going it alone, unless of course you are with a Virgo. And then there is a sense of actually getting closer to some extent. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. And please always feel free to comment on my videos. Comment below um, how this energy is impacting you. There's reconciliation here. Maybe actually finally a conversation that starts between you, especially a Virgo, or a conversation that starts with you and between, between potential job, even healing. There's healing energy that comes through here because the Virgo energy is healing. Um, it is about health and renewal and restoration. And this speaks of the same thing. Four of Swords is thinking over, thinking over maybe something somebody has said or advice that you took or got, um, being able to reconcile or even just sort of um, convalesce for a while, um, reflect, a time of reflection about some advice somebody had given you. What's interesting is, and I'll show you, this is all happening in the future. Nothing has come out in the past. So we're seeing this all play out is almost setting up your future. That's really interesting to me because I would like to know like, what are your plans and what are you thinking of? It seems to me that your mindset is very future focused and where am I headed is the big question in your life. Since we're gonna have a particularly emotional full moon you and your loved ones are safe so there's a personal issue or an issue with your family that's causing a lot of emotion but it's also saying that if you know that everybody's good and you know that everybody is all right what decision would you make like put yourself putting yourself into a mindset or the expectation of my family's going to be okay so what, what do I choose? What's the right decision forward? What really feels right if I know that my family's good? Because it is saying that your family is going to be good or that the situation you're doing now is like you're trying to set up something that will work for your whole family so that you know that the, the direction you wanna go, you're trying to figure out how to make it work for everybody that you care about to come along. We have balanced spirituality and practicality. So there is a sense or a challenge this week with finding, especially around the full moon, finding a way to balance that home life balance, that sense of the ideal versus what can really happen. Can I really take everybody along with me? Is this really, is it fair for me to expect it to work out for everybody? It's not gonna work for everybody, you know, and, and especially not if other people aren't willing to compromise as well. So definitely keep that in mind. But balanced spirituality and practicality is just telling me that there's an emotional situation. You definitely want to make everybody happy and try to figure out how everything is going to be. Trust me, they're going to be okay. 
and, and it's almost like I have to say this to you, the more you try to overcompensate for them, the less they'll be willing to make compromises themselves. And everybody in this situation is gonna have to find a happy neutral. They're gonna have to be able to, it's gotta come from all directions. It can't just come from you. Um, let's continue to get more specifics. If this reading is a little bit shorter than usual, it's because I'm sick. And I apologize for that up front. Um, I will return with normal length next week. I just have been feeling really slow and not myself. Let's put it that way. There will be an extended, don't worry. So specifics. This is success and victory, a, a breakthrough that you've made. This is a lot of opportunity. Oh, I love this for you. I feel like there are people who have noticed you, some sort of executives or people that, that could make moves in your life or or hire you or they're, they're interested in you. This could be potential suitors as well. We have the king of pentacles, which is very much you, and then the king of wands, which is could be very much you as well. Both of these could be dynamic dynamics of you finding a way to put your art into practicality, which is what that Piscean moon said, finding a way to take my art or what I do or create, but also make money out of it. So this is an opportunity for some of you, very specifically, who are in the arts or in a creative field, this is an opportunity for you to actually make money out of what you do. And that's the counseling or decision or opportunity that's opening up for you. The worry then would be, is my family gonna be okay with this change? Or, or and, then, and then the tightness and the combativeness, maybe even not combativeness, but the, you know, butting heads with everybody around you, not necessarily being happy about it or being ready to have heard that come out of your mouth. But at the same time, it's like, but they're going to be okay. It's not going to hurt anybody to be, to make the decision to do this. And then we have, look, we have the hierophant come out and that's you. Now, it could also represent marriage. So somebody that you meet this week, bottom line, could lead to, hey, really good choice, great pick, being noticed and being seen by people who just think you're hot, they think you're fantastic, and you end up marrying the person, right? But it's also you. It's people choosing you, people deciding on you and, and all eyes on you, and, 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 and somebody deciding to invest in you or saying that, that this, is, this is a great opportunity. I cannot tell you, you can't pass this up. I don't want you to even think about passing this up. Okay, this is all in the future. Taurus. It does mean a lot more work or you've been working really hard. It does mean taking on a lot of responsibilities and that means that things and dynamics are gonna have to change for you. Um, that could mean that in some ways you're finding that you may be taken away from your family a little bit more than you want, at least for this week. Or you're making a decision this week that could take you away from your family a little bit more often. And that would be the big change to your life. It's like all of all of these burdens, all of these, this extra work will require a dynamic change to your current schedule. And then there's the tower, which means it is a sense of a shock. Um, something comes. Um, it's a shock to somebody. I'm going to get deeper into what this is. What do you mean the tower? Please explain the tower. It could even be that that it's a shock that you're in this situation, that you even have to make this choice. Um, but what is it? Underlying energy is the emperor. So this could just be maybe your boss expects you to do something and you're not given much of a choice. Or you're shocked that you're even you're even attracted to this or that somebody's even attracted to you. Um, but it's almost like, like authority, some authority figure or the tower, the authority to figure suddenly changes. Like it could be that some authority figure suddenly changed and you thought everybody was on board to a certain degree, but it wasn't. And it's work that you really love to do. And so you have to make some quick, rapid changes because now you don't have, you know, um, the same the same support network as you used to, or say you work at a company. This is another example. Say you work at a company and all of a sudden the CEO suddenly retires. You know, there's a sense of, holy shit, what do I do now? Because things will shift. And in it, they may say, hey, I love you, I love your work, but you have to move to this location. And it's saying, listen, your family's gonna be okay. 
you know, it may not have anything to do with work. Please take it where it resonates. It could have to do with, you know, in terms of your romantic life, meeting somebody all of a sudden that you didn't expect to meet and you love them and it's working out, but you're going to have to move cross country to stay with them. And it's like, listen, your kids are going to be okay. Your family's going to be okay. It's going to be a shock to their system. Let's see how that plays out in every aspect of your life. Um, we're going to go to the extended Taurus. I'll see you guys there.